Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. So we have internal conflict. Two of Cups. The Sun. I did see the Ace of Cups when I was shuffling. So we have the Sun, um, Leo Energy. The Seven of Cups. Clarify the internal conflict card. Divine timing. Somebody is trying to decide if now is the time. Like, I don't know, now is the time for what? But it's like someone's trying to decide if now is the right time to make a decision about, or if like now is the time that they have to make a decision or if it's the best time to make this decision. It could have something to do with surrendering, like, you know, taking a leap of faith into the unknown. It's like somebody doesn't know if they should wait or if they should take, take action. Talking about the Two of Cups. Because somebody is afraid, somebody wants a relationship with you and they do have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. I do think that this person has a fear of being vulnerable and then you rejecting them or this person doesn't like feeling vulnerable. They don't like feelings and emotions. They do have them for you, but I do think that they've been resisting them or suppressing them. But I do think that somebody is conflicted. Like somebody wants to know if now is the right time to approach you tell you the truth about something or tell you their feelings about something because they are afraid that I don't, this kind of gives me the vibe of somebody that's been waiting for like the, the smoke to clear or the, um, what is the word? It's like someone's been for waiting until like something blows over. Like, well, I wonder if they're still mad at me about this or, you know, if they've forgotten about this, I, I wonder if I can come in and do, you know, talk to them and they'll, they won't be mad at me anymore. It's like that type of energy. Tell about the sun. The lessons card. Okay, tell me about the seven of cups, the forbidden, different to mm. somebody has been under the illusion that you are forbidden, or maybe what is seven of cups and forbidden? The seven of wands. Yeah, I think that. This person um, feels like you have, for some of you, they wonder if you have options and they're going to have to come in and fight for you. For others of you, this is somebody that had a lot of options. You're not okay with that or wanted to keep their options open. And I think that you set a boundary with this person. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Tell, what's the sun and the lessons card? Unawakened. Spirit is saying that a separation was necessary between you and this person because in the separation there they if you guys are already in separation a lot of things has become clear to this person or if when you do separate from them they're going to start understanding their feelings and emotions for you more or they're going to start understanding this connection more hmm Tell me about the seven of what's the seven of cups awakening so if this person was it's like for something was making this person feel like 444 four, four on the camera. Something was making this person feel like they couldn't have you or they were confused about their feelings and emotions for you. It's clarify it forbidden, but now they're starting to awaken to it. What is forbidden? King of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're gaining some type of clarity about something here. Frozen, hard to let go, resisting change. Maybe they felt like you were forbidden because there were changes that you were requiring this person to make that they at the time weren't ready to make. So they felt, and, and then you guys set a boundary. So they felt like you were, for, you wouldn't allow them access to you unless they made these certain changes or they did something. But I also feel like somebody feels like they can't let you go. Okay, they there were just some differences, like something that you guys couldn't see eye to eye on at the time. They weren't willing to see things from your perspective or kind of compromise with you or, you know, I agree to agree, agree to disagree with you on some things. So I think that it got to the point where, it, you know, you guys just couldn't make something work because they weren't willing to waver on what they felt. You weren't willing to waver on what you felt. So it's just, that's maybe why they felt like you were forbidden. So now what? The high priestess. What about the high priestess? Pisces energy. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Death, Scorpio, Energy. Um, somebody is... What about Death? Somebody is... Um, what about Death? 
they, somebody has been secretly you, you, you they may be quiet and you guys may not be speaking to one another but somebody has been tr changing or kind of you know ascending to their divine masculine divine feminine energy talk about the emperor aries energy oh the eight of cups oh if it's not that this the masculine is walking away from a situation they're ending something yeah they're walking away from something what does this mean for you the two of wands but they're still maybe this person's intuition is guiding them to walk away from something but they still haven't made up their mind about it yet that's what it is too like their intuition is telling them like it's time to end this it's time to walk away from this it's like somebody doesn't know if it's the right time to end something or they don't know if it's the right time to try to be with you it's like they're confused like they're just they're asking themselves like is it is it the right time like somebody knows their intuition they know what they need to do but or they feel they know what they're feeling guided to do they know what the right thing they they know what they feel the right thing to do is but they still haven't made up their mind about this Talk about the knight of cups divinely guided yeah i feel like they're being divinely guided to come towards you with some either some type of expression of emotions or with some type of proposal and offer let's see nine of wands but they're still very dis defensive they're still very defensive or they are still like they're at the very end of a cycle like they haven't quite closed out something else yet they're at the nine of wands is here so they're tired they're battered they've been through a lot in that situation they're on the cusp because after the nine is the ten the ten is the ending so they're very close to closing out something it could be a marriage um a commitment a living situation tell me more we have what a catch or what about what a catch waiting see feelings of needing is hopeful they'll return Hmm. What's up, dude? You. Someone's hiding their feelings for you. This person has a fear, fear of vulnerability. This person's actually waiting for. Maybe this person is waiting to see. See, this is the problem, though. I think this person is waiting for a sign from you or any inkling that you still want them or that you still love them. It's like this person is codependent, and I think that they don't want to fully close out another cycle without knowing for sure that you want them and that you want to be with them. So it's like they've been hoping and waiting that you give them a sign or that you re that you express your feelings and emotions. They don't want to be the one to be vulnerable. That's the problem. Why? Why do you have to always be the one that's vulnerable and coming towards them? You know what I mean? So I feel like this person is trying to wait to see like if there's if you'll be if you'll return it's like they're they don't want they're like they have all these feelings and emotions for you that they're not expressing to you they're trying to see if you'll come back to them it's almost like this person's like should i continue to wait for the collective to come back to me or should i do something like because and then this person knows that if you come to them that you know obviously you won't be rejecting them or you you know they don't have to deal with those feelings of rejection because obviously you came towards them obviously you want to talk to them it's like yeah it's a lot here so tell me more nine of pentacles what about the nine of pentacles we have cold as ice so this person gave you the impression that they didn't have feelings and emotions for you or that they just didn't want a commitment. They wanted their freedom and their independence. Or maybe that's the vibe that you're giving off. Tell me more. This is me for my collective. Nine of Pentacles and the Cold as Ice card. Long wait. What about long wait? Seven of Pentacles. See, someone's like waiting for something. Long. Well, who's waiting? What is waiting? Chariot. Is what does the waiting aspect mean for my collective? Eight of Pentacles. Worth the effort putting in the work. What does this mean for this person? The long wait. Eight of Wands. Some of you guys have been waiting for this person. Like you, it's almost like you're not 100% closed off to this person, but you're like, no, they're going to put in the work. They're going to come in and be vulnerable. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not putting myself out there just for them to take advantage, or I'm not going to always be the one to reach out first and express my emotions. They need to also do that same thing. And I think this person has been really dragging their feet. I think that they've been really hoping that you be the one that you're the one that comes towards them and you, you know, you show your emotions and things like that. And I think you guys aren't doing it. So somebody is over there thinking like, okay, is do I need to act now? Do I need to take some type of action now towards the collective because they're not taking action toward me? I've been waiting for a long time. They're not doing it. They're not taking any action. They're, and I think this person feels like you're just very self-focused. 
maybe this person it's like almost like this person feels like you're giving off mixed signals like they they're trying to get like maybe they're even watching you they're trying to see like if you trying to like scope you out and see like if you, they even think you would be open to hearing from them and i think this person doesn't know they think you're sending them mixed signals in some way but sometimes they think you would be open to hearing from them other times they don't this is like somebody that's observing you but i think that they're ultimately going to make the decision to reach out to you uh, with the eight of wands they're going to kind of come in with some type of community, a message, a phone call out of the blue. Yeah. The Empress and the Devil. Somebody's obsessed with you. Mm, somebody maybe also, yeah, there's some type of like obsession or not even an obsession, an, an addiction, to toxic attachment, something like that that this person needs to let go of. Now, what did I say, guys? We had, didn't I say we had the Nine of Wands? Now we have the Ten of Wands here. And we have cleanup after that. So this person is about to close out a cycle. It has something to do with cutting off a karmic or a karmic tie or them finally doing the work on themselves or something like that, that so that they can have what they truly desire, what they feel is going to bring them happiness and fulfillment. Yeah, somebody needs to, it's like somebody has been denying that they need to heal and that they need to change, that they need to grow up. But I think that like, they're starting to realize now that they do need to grow up. They do need, need, do need to start making healthier choices. They do need, do need to heal. There's something here. Like for some of you, you were dealing with someone that was a player and they were just not ready to leave behind that player lifestyle. Yeah, I think that because with the seven of cups, yeah, and we have karmic partner here. Co Didn't I say this person was codependent? <laughs> yep, codependency. Taming a player, trying to risk. Yeah, this per see how this person has all these hands on them? Yeah, this person. I feel like this person likes to have more than one option, like deal with more than one person at once. And it's because they're very codependent and it's because they're very like, they're very needy. I don't know. They feel like they need attention from multiple different people or something like that. I don't know. Let's get some more clarity. straw into gold so this it says reviving what was lost so you guys may have felt like this was a lost cause it was over it was done with it was never going to come back around maybe this is how this person feels but spirit says let's see clarify straw into gold we have forever yours this is not you may have thought that this was over but spirit says that whatever obviously this is a twin flame reading but what you and this person have is an unbreakable bond like or somehow you guys, for some of you, you guys may feel like this was never going to be able to turn into anything or it was just never going to go anywhere. But Spirit says that this could lead to a strong and stable relationship. Tell me more. We have creativity. Yeah, somebody is feeling the, the urge to, to express something to you. Like somebody feels like they need to say something. They need to tell you something. Someone's feeling the urge to, yeah, but we have, because this is somebody that has been trying to act like they don't care. It's almost like somebody feels like they cannot hold back their feeling. They can't play uh, unemotional or like they don't have feelings or that they don't care any longer. Like they feel like they have to speak up and say something. We do have religious factors here. We have spiritual lessons, religious traditions, differences in spiritual beliefs. What about that? We have communication. Conversation, need to clarify something. Email, text messages, phone call. What does that do with religious factors? Lady Venus. Beauty and grace, romantic and sexual love. Explore your desires. Hmm. What does that do with? Explore the waters. There's someone better. Keep your options open. Figure out what you truly want. What you really want. So maybe... What does it have to do with my collective? This is how, yeah, the clock is slow. Yeah, we'll take a, see, I know you guys are not going to want to hear this, but Spirit is saying that 
somebody, maybe you needed to also date other people. It's almost like somebody went out there. They either thought that there was, somebody is in the midst of learning some type of spiritual lesson here. It's like they're starting to really figure out what they really want because, and maybe you guys are as well. Like if you've been going to getting out there and dating again, or they have been as well, they, it's, it's, hel it's helping somebody or you figure out what you really want. Because I think you were dealing with somebody that didn't know what they really wanted, even if they told you they did. And I know that you guys have been feeling like it, it just wasn't the right time. It's like you had to experience more. They had to experience more. But and I feel like you feel like you this is like you guys have been in separation for forever. But now this person is viewing you as their perfect person. Look at this. Look at this. This person has realized just say that they they thought that they wanted to get back out there and started dating other options right or they thought that they wanted to you know uh keep they wanted to explore other options before they made the decision to fully commit to you whatever reason right well they ran right into a spiritual lessons right and um all it did was make them realize that they want to be loyal and devoted to you that they their love for you is unwavering that this is a connection they want to protect that you guys were actually very compatible um, that you guys, it's like, it's making them think about the dynamic, like what occurred between the two of you. They're like, wow, me and, me and, um, the co collective, like we just clicked right away. Like this other person I'm dating, like there's nothing, we don't have that. It doesn't feel the same. We don't, we didn't click like, you know, me and the collective did. And wow, we, we, me and the collective have really good conversations. Me and this person, we don't even know what to say to each other. And it's like, yeah, they feel like, they feel like. All that they found out is that you're one of a kind, that you're irreplaceable, that it's hard to find somebody like you. Yeah, they, it's like they went out there and started exploring other options and they realized that you were actually a unicorn. Like you don't find people like you or a connection that the two of you had very easily. It was, it, it's making them realize how special what the two of you had was and they couldn't see it before. Like for some reason, this person thought, oh, I can go out there and find somebody else and have the same connection with them. But Spirit says, cost of vanity. This person, it was an illusion. This person was, this, uh, yeah, superficial relationship. Yeah, at a crossroads, critical stage, exploring options. I'm telling you. Because this, I feel like this person, like I said, didn't I say earlier this person likes attention? Look how this person's getting all these like likes and hearts and reactions and stuff like that. This person likes to get attention from multiple people. But now, this person knew that they were going to have to open their heart to be with you. They knew that they were going to have to heal their old emotional pain to be with you. And that, at the time, they felt like you were asking too much or that was too much for them. Yeah. Hmm. Give me a few more cards. Yep, there it is. Well, there it is again. This person feels like you guys are a perfect match now. So now what? Yeah, so this person's coming in with an offer. Yeah, chival chivalry, goodness, old-fashioned values, an offer of love. They want to give you something traditional. Yeah, look at this. Pretty bride, commitment, wedding, marriage, they choose you. So you were dealing with somebody that you guys have been spending some time apart. And during that time, you guys have been living your own lives. You've been dating, dating other people. You've been experiencing different things apart from each other. And through those experiences and through the, yeah, through those experiences, Maybe you feel like you've also realized just nobody compares to this person. And maybe they, and they, it looks like they've realized that same thing about you. Yeah. Yep. Look at this. Wish is granted. Wish is coming true. Magical energy surrounds you. Your thoughts are manifesting. Yeah. This is something that you guys hoped and wished for. Like, just, I know some of you guys are like, no, I wasn't exploring other options. I always knew that they were special. And I always knew that they were one. Well, this person was the, 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 because we had the unawakened card earlier. They weren't as awakened as you. They weren't as mature as you. They weren't, it was completely, yeah, look at this, solar eclipse. Yep, powerful changes of heart. This person's had a change of heart. Yeah, unexpected major changes. And you guys may not even be expecting this. Didn't I say this person's been studying you? It says studying you, learning to love. Yeah, this person maybe didn't even know how to learn, love the right way. Yeah, it's like this person feels like they can't wait any longer. They feel like they've been watching you. They've been studying you and they feel like, 
it's time. They have to do something. They have to make a sacrifice. Whatever they've been conflicted about making a sacrifice about, they feel like now is the time based off of them observing you. They feel like they've been actually wasting time and prolonging the inevitable by like trying to, whatever this other situation was, it was bad, but they were just trying to make it work for the time being, or they thought maybe it could get better. They feel like by being them being in that mindset, they've only been wasting time. So I think that somebody's about to make a decision. And you know, guys, when I saw that first card, that forever yours, that person laying next to the girl was a complete skeleton. This person is going through like a death and a rebirth. And right as, look, we have spiritual death, rebirth process, self-discovery, dark night of the soul. And the divine, yeah, the, it says divine hand, divine assistance. Yeah, and we have the return, the re past returns coming together, returning home. This person views you as their home. They feel very comfortable with you. Yeah, I feel like this person feels like you're just not really showing too much feelings and emotions. Yeah, miracles are unfolding around you. Like you may, things may be seem very quiet or like nothing is happening, but Spirit says there's a miracle unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Yeah, the past, the, the, this past, they're coming back. That's all I can say. There's like, I've seen a million cards come out that says the past return. Somebody coming back from the past. 